In this video, we will explore Rwanda's third largest city, Gisenyi. First, we'll walk through the city's historic downtown center, a unique fusion of Swahili and Central African influences. Next, we'll visit the beaches, which are a major attraction here. We'll take a harrowing boat ride on Lake Kivu, exploring its many islands and enjoying fresh fish. Okay. Until eventually our boat breaks down. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want more content. This is Gisenyi, also known as Rubavu, in Rwanda's western province. The city is essentially contiguous with Goma in Congo, a massive metropolis with roughly 700,000 inhabitants. The two urban areas are connected by two roads, La Petite Barrière and La Grande Barrière. But we won't be visiting these areas today because of the significant political tension between the two countries at the time this was filmed. While Musanzi is the epicenter of Rwanda's international tourism industry, Giseni is more popular with domestic tourists who like to visit because of its beaches and nightlife. The city is also popular with tourists from Congo who visit for um, various reasons. We are trying to make our way to the downtown part of the city, which is apparently pretty far away. So this part is not that interesting, actually. Yeah, but uh, but oh, but, but uh, here this is the way to town. Okay, so we're not in town yet. Okay. We're already in town. Yeah. But that's busy. But, but you saw the busiest part of it, so we're already there. Okay. Maybe if you feel like uh, this part is not interesting, maybe you can cut off. And then Cross to the side. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. The trees you see on the surrounding hills are pine trees, similar to what you would find in the American South. Although Gisenyi's climate classification of tropical savanna is similar to most of equatorial Africa, its high elevation leads to a much cooler temperature. This allows Rwanda to take advantage of highly efficient livestock, such as the Holstein Frisian dairy cow, 
which the country is importing from the United States and Europe. These cows require low temperatures and produce 10 times more milk than the local Ancole breed. Such animals can sustainably lift people out of poverty. Industrial quality livestock is real wealth. Unlike the silly natural resources, many Africans have unfortunately become so obsessed with. Like, uh, it's like this is a uptown or oh, downtown. This is a downtown, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, look at that. What a nice scene. Yeah. In fact, actually, I think we need to start there and walk down this way because that looks really good. Okay. I do, but I want to skip to the very beginning. Oh, okay. So we should, we should means we will come back. Yeah. You know, this city is kind of nice. Yeah, it's nice. So, the, okay, they, they say that this is the second city from uh, uh, from Spa City, uh -huh. uh, from Hungary. So, okay. Yeah. It. So I'm gonna cross. Hey, you, you, you wanna walk by the, the other? Yeah, side? the zebras. Yeah. You see, it's really beautiful from this side. But, but you know, this city rese re resembles the city of Rohingya. It does. It's, it's, a, a, it's bit. a bit of flat. Yeah. yeah. Rohingya is another word for Musanzi, which was featured in my previous video. Which city do you think looks better? Let me know in the comments below. Compared to Musanzi, Gisenyi seems to be a much smaller city, 
with fewer tall buildings. It is also less polished from an urban planning standpoint, but Rwanda is still a developing country, so you can't expect everything to be perfect. Overall, the city feels reasonably clean and livable. This mosque, mm. is it under construction or what? Yeah, it's You kind of feel like you're in Tanzania here. With this mosque, you can see the Islamic influence, which came by way of the Swahili coast and Indian Ocean trade routes. People may be surprised to know that the Swahili language has penetrated this far inland. It is also widely spoken in Burundi and Eastern Congo. Okay, so one thing I've noticed in Rwanda, there seems to be a lot more men than women walking around. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but uh, I think uh, the reason uh, is not that uh, there are more women than men. So they say that the population uh, of women is larger than the population of, uh, of men. Mm. So it's because uh, if you are seeing more men than women walking around. It's like it, it, the reason is that uh, men are the one that uh, uh, men are the one that woke, woke up early in the morning to go uh, to work for money. To okay. For, uh, to, to 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 get to get for to look for money to get for their families. So oh. uh, in uh, African culture, uh, mostly uh, women stay home. Okay. And they cook. So. Uh, uh, so even uh, some women, so okay, some women who do, do work, also some are in the offices, 
Okay, but for pe do people prefer to have the wife stay at home and the husband work, or is that just because they have no jobs available? Yeah, no, it doesn't even that it, it, it doesn't it doesn't mean that they don't have uh, job uh, some jobs available. Okay, it's that uh, okay. So, so, uh, so, some, some, okay, uh, women, some women maybe may, may not have jobs, jobs, mm. and some and some men here in the other uh, other other cultures here, most of, most especially in the rural areas, uh, if 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 if, we, if a woman has not gone to work in the, the garden, like farming, yeah, she stays she stays at home. Okay. So, here in Gisenyi, is very close to the border with Congo. Are there a lot of Congolese people that live here in yeah, Gisenyi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, a lot of Cong a lot, a lot of Cong Cong uh, Congolese women and men coming right there to, for business. Okay. Every day they cross the borders. Uh, come and do business in Rwanda. So, there are a lot of Congolese around here in Gisenyi during the daytime. And uh, I think you uh, you can see that uh, uh, Gise okay, Gisenyi is the, it's like a, a, bu a business area okay. uh, here, Rubavu. Yeah. So, Rwandans, Rwandans do cross the border and go to to Goma for business, and so even uh, even uh, they those people from from uh, from Goma also come here in Rwanda, in Kisenyi to do business. Okay. But also especially the Congolese are the ones that are are come here in, in Kisenyi for uh, in large numbers. Okay. To be honest, there's not much left to see here. Let's grab some bikes and go check out the beaches. Like elsewhere in Rwanda, the beach is a boys club. The boats you see here are tour boats. They take visitors around Lake Kivu for a fee. They see the fish in the water. We meet one of the boat operators and he offers us a tour. Ungara mm. is the captain of the boat. So whoever like wants to uh, uh, make a trip. Yeah. Okay, how much? So it depends where you wanna go. Because here we have a three places where we took our visitors. Okay. Twenty thousand. Okay. For both persons. Mm.
But this video is getting quite long, so stay tuned for part two where we will explore Lake Kivu. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.